This is Wycliffe High School. The original center section of the building was constructed beginning in 1957, completed shortly thereafter in 1958. There were additions in the early 1960s, including the wings on the right, the gymnasium in the rear of the building, and the tech area to the left. One of the major issues with Wycliffe High School is like our other buildings, there is currently no Americans with Disability compliant entrances. The amount of walkway between parking and the front of the school is not compliant with ADA. The high school, despite being the youngest school in the district, has several areas in need of significant restoration or replacement. Included in that is much of the roof sections of the high school. Currently, most areas need restoration services and one large area needs to be replaced at an estimated cost of $250,000 for the replacement. This is the former library at Wycliffe High School. It is currently used as our testing facility for state tests which are required to be done via computer. Due to the increased electrical load necessary for 100 computers to be operated at the same time, we have to centralize our testing location here in the former library space. This is the central electrical control room at the high school. This equipment is original from when the building was constructed in the late 1950s. So this is the only art classroom at Wycliffe High School. Essentially, this is just a converted traditional classroom that holds art classes. So there's insufficient storage and a lack of opportunities for students to participate in art class. This is the central heating plant at Wycliffe High School. There are three hot water boilers used to heat the building. This is the main office and entryway at Wycliffe High School. In the summer of 2018, there was a minor renovation of this area. However, as often the case in buildings of this age, a rather simple project took nearly twice the expected amount of time and approximately 25% more than ever estimated due to uh, minor levels of asbestos that had to be properly abated. One of the concerns that we have with the potential renovation of this building is the cost due to unknown factors such as asbestos.